creep, whoops, get it, whoop, whoop, whoop. Cart narcs, cart narcs here. Last December, I was out running some errands and I was approached by cart narcs. That's uh, curbing, sir. That's our, yeah, with cart narcs, that's uh, just curbing. It's a violation here. We'd like for you to take the cart back to the corral over that way if you could. Where are you going? Yes, sir, we have a maneuver called a pit maneuver. Cart's right here, sir. I'm standing with the cart. It's your cart, sir. Why do you do that, bro? Why do you put that in back of my cart? Well, it's your cart, not my cart. What he did was he put the shopping cart behind my truck, which prevented me from leaving. I felt that this guy was trying to entrap me. I was like, man, come on, dude. I don't have time for this. You understand the principle, though, right? That, like, carts can get out and hit people's cars, so that's you why. Know that, you know that's against the law to videotape somebody without their permission. Well, let's right? talk about the cart, not about the videotape, you know, sir. No, it's against the law to video somebody sir, what about without the their permission. What about the cart? You don't have not you're, have my you're, permission. You are, you're deflecting. You do not have my permission. You're deflecting from the cart. Ah! I believe this guy, Sebastian, was really trying to antagonize me. Yeah, with cart narcs, that's uh, just curbing. It's a violation here. Two days later, I learned that he had posted a video of me on the internet. You know, I was upset. All this guy is doing is trying to provoke reaction from people for likes. I want to confront Sebastian to let him know it's not good to antagonize people you don't even know. This guy has to be really careful with what he's doing because he's going to meet the wrong person, and this can get real ugly real quick. You feel like you were victimized by him and shamed on the internet? Uh, yes, I was. And what do you want to say to uh, Agent Sebastian? <laughs> uh, Sebastian, um, it's not good to go around and push people's buttons because you're going to provoke a reaction. You're going to get a reaction. And what you do is you push buttons for no reason. Well, I would take, a, I would take objection with the no reason. Uh, again, why didn't you just take your card back? Parking lot monitors specifically pick up shopping carts. That's their job. This is the they old. Get, they get paid to do just that. Look, this is a classic example and, and terrible reasoning we hear from these people all the time. Who's we? Uh, that I hear from these people all the time, <laughs> um, is they pay people to do this. Well, they pay a janitor in that same in that same shopping center to wipe up the toilet. Do you go in there and pee all over the? Because you know, because eventually the janitor will come and clean up after you, or do you pick up after yourself? and do what's asked of you, and what you, quite frankly, you know you're supposed to be doing. It's not like it's trash. I, you're not throwing something on the ground. I'm not talking about trash. I'm talking about blocking spots. Well, you said it was like littering. It's similar, yes. Well, no, it's not similar, because littering is a crime. No, this I, isn't a crime. You're equating one thing with another. One's a crime, one's not. That's an analogy, Dr. Phil, but it's a it's similar... It's a bad analogy, because <laughs> one's a crime and one's not. It's, it's kind of like a, saying we when it's me. It's a similar <laughs> principle of picking up after yourself. You know, yes, littering is a crime, and I do feel that leaving your shopping cart out should be somewhere in there. Well, but, but it isn't. Not yet. That's why, that's why I do what I do. Why did you put the, bas the shopping cart behind my truck? That was it's sort of an empathy move where we don't, we don't do that anymore, talking to our lawyer. They think it's kind of a gray area. Because, <laughs> because it goes to show you that when you leave your cart out, it can block someone else, and we see it every day. You pull into a spot, and there's a cart sitting there. I got to get out, move the cart. It's, it's to show you what will happen to other people when you do what you did. But you know that's called a form of detaining, right? It, it can sort of be. No, it's, it is. Well, look, that's why we don't do it anymore, is it's a gray area. Um, but again, we've never been charged with anything by any law enforcement. We have plenty of evidence of what we do. Who's we? I've never been charged. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. Uh, I've never been charged by any municipality in any one of the 50 states, and I travel all over the place, because it's not really any kind of crime to, to ask people to be a better citizen and pick up after themselves. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.